In this video, we'll discuss the topic of how to diagram the formation of an ionic bond or the formation of an ionic compound. To start, let's remember where the diagonal diagram is located on the periodic table. So I'll draw that in right here. Remember, this separates the metals located over here on the periodic table from the non-metallic elements located over here on the periodic table. When we have an ionic compound, we have a metal paired with a non-metallic element. So we've got metal plus a non-metal. This is key. We need to recall that this has to occur for a compound to be ionic. Now, let's look at how we would diagram the formation of an ionic compound like sodium chloride. Sodium chloride has sodium, obviously. Sodium is an alkali metal. It has one valence electron. Chlorine is a halogen. Halogens, located here on the periodic table, have seven valence electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. When this ionic bond is going to form between sodium and chlorine, sodium will donate an electron. That electron will be transferred to the chlorine, which is an electron acceptor. So that electron will go right here. This is going to stabilize the chloride ion, giving it a negative charge. It goes from an electron configuration of 3p5 to now 3p6. Sodium loses its one valence electron in the 3s sublevel, dropping down to having an electron configuration which will match the electron configuration of neon. So sodium is now going to have a positive charge. We can see that sodium will have a charge of plus one. Chloride ions have a charge of minus one. So the chemical formula for this compound is giving the lowest whole number ratio. So that is a one-to-one -one ratio showing us the formation of sodium chloride. Let's look at one more example. For this one, I've selected the example of aluminum sulfide. So let's just make a divide here. Aluminum is an element that has three valence electrons. We can see it's located right here on the periodic table. So I'll draw those in here, here, and here. Sulfur is an atom which has six valence electrons. It's in the same family as oxygen. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when electron transfer is going to take place, we can see that aluminum has three valence electrons it would like to donate. But here's the problem. There are only two spots where sulfur can accept those electrons, here and right here. So again, this other electron went over here. This will cause this sulfur to form a negative two charge anion. But the aluminum still has one additional electron it would like to get rid of. So where's that going to go? That can be donated to another atom of sulfur. So I'm going to add that right here, again, with six valence electrons. This can be a landing spot for that one additional electron. So let's go ahead and move that electron to our second sulfur. So that's going to go right over here. And I'll keep going with my color coding scheme. This causes this aluminum to become charged. It will have a positive three charge because it has given up three electrons. Here's the problem. This sulfur atom has one more place where it can accept an electron. It's not stable yet. So we're going to bring in a second aluminum, again, with three valence electrons. This valence electron, I'm just picking randomly, can go right here to stabilize that second sulfur. Again, this is now going to have a charge of minus two. This aluminum still has two more electrons to donate. So we need a third sulfur atom to accept those electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'll go ahead and indicate that this electron and this electron are both going to be donated to that third atom of sulfur. 
So we're going to put those right here and right here. This sulfur will now form the third minus two ion. The aluminum here has a charge of positive three. So we can see from our two aluminums, there'll be a total charge of positive six. Positive three from this aluminum, positive three from this aluminum. The total negative charge from the sulfide ions will be minus two, minus four, minus six. So these will add up to give us an electrically neutral compound. There will be no overall charge. The formula for this compound will be Al2S3.